cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the weather briefing video for December 10th, 2022. Cloudy, humid, and mild through the weekend with showers moving in late tonight and staying likely through much of Sunday. Here's what I have for you in today's video. A stalled front will continue to be draped over the northern portions of the state that will keep higher humidity levels trapped in place today. Skies will stay partly to mostly cloudy through the day, but a short wave will move along the front and bring shower chances into the forecast for the northern half of the central Alabama by the afternoon, while the southern half stays dry. Highs will be in the lower 60s to the mid-70s. Rain and a few rumbles of thunder will move southeastward across central Alabama on Sunday with that short wave. Rain will be likely at times, but none of the activity will be strong to severe. However, with the ongoing rainfall in the northern half of the area, we may see a brief flooding issue or two pop up. Highs in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. Other than the cloud cover, Monday will be a really nice and mild day. It won't be quite as humid as dew points will be back down in the 50s. Highs in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. As a large area of severe storms will be possible off to our west on Tuesday, it looks like central Alabama will stay rather quiet for one more day. We may have a backdoor wedge develop and move into the northeastern parts of the area that will keep highs a little lower than the rest, but other than that, clouds will be on the increase with highs in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. A weak surface low looks to form along the cold front over the northeastern parts of Mississippi during the pre-dawn hours on Wednesday, which may keep storms going a little longer before everything weakens as the better dynamics pull farther northward. While strong storms will be possible, the Storm Prediction Center has the equivalent of a slight risk up for the extreme southwestern parts of central Alabama, including cities such as Utah and Demopolis, and southward to the Gulf Coast. Rain and storms will be likely through much of the day, with the backside of the activity moving over the I-59 corridor during the evening hours. Highs in the lower 60s to the lower 70s. The cold front will struggle to make it out of central Alabama on Thursday, and showers and some thunder will remain possible mainly along and south of I-85. Colder air will have moved into the north, but milder temperatures remain in the south, highs in the lower 50s to the lower 60s. And at the end of the forecast period on Friday, colder air will continue to work into central Alabama with a mix of sun and clouds. Highs will only make it into the mid-40s to the mid-50s. While these temperatures will be colder than normal, it will make it feel more like Christmas time. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have your next video out tomorrow morning. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless. Sinking driveway? Call Alabama Professional Services. Settling patio? Call APS. Uneven pool deck? Call APS. Collapsing stoop? Call APS. Cracking sidewalk? That's right, call APS. It's a fact, concrete problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today.